Hi, this is Andrew with Certified Kind. I'm going to show you how to identify hemp russet mite damage on the leaves and flowers of your cannabis plants. I'm also going to show you images of hemp russet mite that I captured with a type of handheld digital microscope that anyone can easily use to scout for pests. Certified Kind is a mission-driven company that helps growers learn about building soil fertility. We also help growers develop strategies for preventing and controlling crop pests and disease. The hemp russet mite is a microscopic arthropod that feeds on leaves, new growth, flower buds, and on glandular trichomes of cannabis. Hemp russet mite infestations have been reported in both indoor and outdoor legalized cannabis production in California, Oregon, Colorado, and Washington. These mites are tiny, and it's best to use a microscope to identify them. But you can also recognize russet mite symptoms on leaves and on developing flowers, even if you don't have a microscope. If you look on the upper leaf surface and you see this yellowing, bronzing effect, that can be an indication of hemp russet mite. Some people think this is a nutrient deficiency, but then they break out the microscope, and on the underside of the leaf surface, they see that there are actually hemp russet mites there. So the first clue is the stipling, yellowing, bronzing effect that starts at the leaf edge and extends towards the leaf midrib. Another indication of the damage is if you see canoeing of the leaves. A lot of times this canoeing or upward curling of the leaf happens at the petiole where the base of the leaf meets the leaf stem. Hemp russet mite damage on developing cannabis flower buds causes the pistils to darken and die prematurely. In this early flower stage, the pistils or hairs are usually light colored, long and vibrant. If you see pistils that are prematurely dark brown and withering, this can be a sign of hemp russet mite. The way to identify any pests in your garden is to scout for them. You have to walk through your fields, through your rooms, looking for signs and symptoms of disease and pest pressure. To recognize plant stress, you have to know what a healthy plant should look like and you have to be able to see symptoms of pest damage. Make it a regular habit to pull leaves of the plant and look at them under the microscope. Even if you see no signs of damage, russet mite could still be there. A microscope is an essential tool. I like using a handheld digital microscope that goes up to 200x. These are easy to use and you can buy them online. In a follow-up video to this one, we'll be talking about how to prevent and control hemp russet mite by using only organic approved pesticide materials that would be allowed in certified kind production. If you like this video, like us on Facebook and Instagram and check out our website.